Welcome to Low Buck Builds. In this video, we're going to do a quick walk around of the K10 and a quick catch up video on where we're at with the project. So, for about the last five years, I've been fixing up old cars, sometimes trading them, uh, sometimes flipping them. And after I got my last Camaro done and put the pictures on Facebook, a lot of people were like, Well, you should start doing one of those video series on YouTube. And I was like, Oh, that could be kind of fun. So, back in July, I shot a few videos. And then I got busy. I was working two jobs at the time and was summer, I'd do a lot of camping and stuff like that. So I just kind of sat there and never got the voiceovers to get finished. The reason I've been voicing over them is that there was construction going on across the street, so there was just too much noise. So I just shot the video. I was planning on doing a voiceover later on. So now that things have slowed down, um, I was going through my phone, cleaning out some pictures. I seen these old videos. I'm like, oh, well, I should go ahead and do those. And then I got a cold for about two weeks. And finally, I'm like, you know what? I need to go ahead and get these videos out there so I can start making the normal style videos. So I got a little bit of a cold, but just bear with me and enjoy the videos. So before we uh, get to the K10, here's a couple of photos of some of the prior projects I did. This is the Chevy Camaro I was talking about. Um, I actually ended up selling it to buy this truck to start this project. And this uh, Jeep YJ that I fixed up, you'll be seeing this in future videos. And lastly, this car hauler that I built from pretty much scrap metal, uh, completely rebuilt it, and now I use it to haul all my toys around and get, bring new vehicles to the garage and so on. Anyway, so now on to the walk around of the K10. As you can see, we are down to the cab and the frame. I did the cab corners and rockers. They were both rotted out. I haven't got to the interior yet as of when this video was made. Yeah, I had to redo that heat box as well. In an up-and-coming video, I'll be doing, I do this uh, core support, it's already done in this video. New shocks. Also the rocker on the side and the cab corner. Put a new gas tank in. We ran the lines, new straps, and uh, coated all the frame, new shocks in the back. You can see all the rust and stuff I got to work on, and that'll be in an upcoming video. I painted this old bumper black. It's a little bent up, but I'll probably end up replacing it. But for now, it looks better painted than the way it was. So in the first two videos, we're going to be doing paint prep. We're going to get all this cleaned up, these old drip rails off, get it ready for paint. So if you want to follow along with the square body build, like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, which is the core support video.